you hear that? That's thunder. It's actually raining outside, and we're finally going to have a break in our 100 degree misery. Well, hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Mission Zero. Uh, you didn't get a vlog yesterday for a couple of reasons. One is we had, a uh, day before yesterday, we had a sewer backup in the house, and I spent 14 hours cleaning it, and the last thing on earth that I wanted to do was uh, record a video at the end of that. The second is actually what I wanted to talk about today, and that is purpose. The problem with finding your purpose is that uh, you have to, at some point, rely on yourself to make that decision of what it is you're supposed to do, right? It's, it's not a thing that someone can tell you what your purpose is. And particularly as a Christian, this presents a real challenge because what you want your purpose to be and what God wants your purpose to be may be at odds with each other. And the, the thing that I am most comfortable in life doing, the, the people that I open up to the easiest is you. Uh, I have a real problem with interpersonal communications on a human level, talking just kind of small talk. I talked about this in a vlog a couple days ago. The camera, I have no problem talking to you. And in fact, I enjoy talking to you and I love the feedback of talking to you in comments or on other forms of social media and just just sharing with you, just being with you. The problem with that is that I like it so much that I can never know from one moment to the next if I'm doing this because it's something I want to do or if it's because it's what God purposed me to do. And here's why that matters. The purpose of Mission Zero, and I say this all the time, is to spread a message of a better way to think about the world, a better way to relate to each other, to think about each other. If I'm not doing that, if my channel is not achieving that, then what I'm doing is wasting my time and wasting yours, and I don't want that. But the other reason that it matters to you, particularly if you don't believe in this God stuff, if you're not a Christian, to quote Han Solo, if you're not behind all this hokey religion stuff, is that you're going to have things that assault your purpose. You're going to think that this is the road that I want to be on. And the entire world will array itself against you to tell you that that's not your purpose. If you, if you believe nothing else that I ever say from a religious context, believe me that there is not passive aggression in the world. There is not a passive force in the universe of chance that comes against you, right? It is not by random happenstance that the morning you're running late is the day traffic is the worst. These things happen because there is an active force, and you can call it Satan, you can call it your amygdala, you can call it a chemical reaction, you can call it perception, you can call it whatever you want, but it is a real force whose purpose is to stop you. And it doesn't do it by physically stopping you. It does it by wearing down your mind. And you can't allow that. And there are so many reasons not to fight it. There are so many reasons to give in and say, you know what, that's reasonable. I shouldn't do this. But there's just the one that keeps you going. In case you've never been able to voice it, let me voice it for you. The thing that really keeps you going is knowing that you're doing it for other people. Yes, you want a purpose that fulfills you, but the only purpose in life that can actually fulfill you, that can fill that emptiness, that can make you feel like you are in your purpose, is to help other people. That's what I want to do here. That's what mission is. I think that was my cue from God to stop. Uh, I love you. Man, I love you. And God bless you. And may God pour out blessings upon you that outnumber the raindrops that are falling in Dallas tonight. I love you desperately. Peace out.